Good morning, my beautiful lovelies. How is everyone today? I hope you're doing well. So I was not going to make a video, but I went back and I watched some of the videos that I made recently and just doing like personal readings, I noticed that there's a tower that keeps coming up and we keep getting this weird, um, my hand's itching, we keep getting this weird message about protection. And so I just want to keep a close eye on that. Not that I can do anything about it. Spirit's got our back. I mean, but if there's anything I can do to help guide us through whatever's going on, you know, I want to be able to do that. And I lit my sage, and it was burning real well. I got some new sage. I ordered some brand new sage because some of what I had was getting old because I don't use it that often. I mean, I never leave the house. But it's been burning pretty good this morning, which is a little unusual. I don't usually get that. I don't usually get a cloud like this. And uh, I have no idea what they might want to talk about this morning. At all. I do know that this, um, <clears throat> this lapis or whatever it's called that I ordered is not helping with my throat chakra. So, thank you for reminding me, Spirit. I'm going to try something a little different this morning. I have a piece of it over here. And I'm going to try keeping that close to me. Let's see if I can't keep it clear that way. This is a genuine piece. I don't know if this is lapis is expensive i know that when i went to order one oh my gosh they were so expensive but this seems to be working already how about that this might not be genuine you never know what you're getting unless you make it yourself but now this company that i order these these um from is very good I think they might be Native American. It's called Dancing Bear. This company is legit. I can tell you that right now because everything I've ever ordered from them was straight up legit. And I ordered a box of black tourmaline from them. Also, because I, I literally had a piece of black tourmaline one time I did a video and there was something going on in the energy. And I put that black tourmaline in my house coat pocket because I keep it in my bra when I do readings. And most of the time, all day long, I'll have a piece in my bra all day. But that, that morning when I did the video, I had it in my pocket. And when I finished that video, it crumbled. It was the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. But I have a box full of it here. And I give it away to people too. And then I have some amethyst. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know where we're going this morning. So I'm just kind of taking my time to see where they want, might want to go. Spirit guides, angels. I can tell you that I'm already channeling though. Because I can feel it in my throat. It's like a bubble in my throat. You can hear it in my voice. My voice changes. And it depends on... I've even noticed on the videos when I look back at them. You can see my body will look different sometimes. Like... Sometimes I look rounder. I don't know how to explain it. Depends on who I'm channeling, I suppose. And this morning, I'm not sure. I just know there's somebody here with me. More than one. And I want to check out this tower if they'll allow me. Because a tower can be just something that, uh, like a thought that you have. You can like have an epiphany or realization. Or it can be an actual event that happens, but it's something that comes along in your life that shakes up the energy to propel you forward. Because if you stayed where you were, you would have no progress, or you could even have something that could harm you. And so it's the Spirit's way of moving you out of harm's way, if you look at it like that. Or to move you closer to the person that Spirit wants you to be. You know, we all have tower moments in life when shit's upside down and sideways and 
nobody likes tower moments, but they have to, they're a necessary part of, of life. It's necessary sometimes for God to step into our situation and move us somewhere else. And that does happen. Okay, so um, let's look and see if God will allow me. I, and I want to say too, I don't know why I want to say this, but these cards right here, I, I, I can't just jump on video and make a video whenever I want. But I can play with these cards all day long if I want to. And they will speak to me all day long. And they will usually give me the same message over and over and over again. But I play with these primarily because they have become almost like an extension of me. And this, this deck, this deck right here, I can get answers out of it all day long. I don't know how to explain it, but the more you play with a deck of cards the more that deck becomes a part of you. And so you'll find that you'll, if you're a card reader, you already know, or you'll, you'll, if you're new to card reading, you'll have a deck that is just your deck, and it'll speak to you very, very strongly. And that's what this deck has become for me. Okay. There's a situation that keeps coming out in these cards about an earth sign, an air sign, and a fire sign. I think it might be all four. Anyway, there's there's um, somebody's family doesn't like this Leo. This same situation keeps coming out. And I don't know who you are, but if you're stuck, maybe that's what this tower is about, is to move you out of that stuckness. Because I remember yesterday, that whole video was for somebody specific. And then at the very end, they threw in that situation, and I tied it in as being somebody your mom was with. But to be honest with you, when I went back and rewatched it, I don't think that had anything to do with your situation. I don't think it was who your mom was with. I See, I think that that's somebody else's scenario that's stuck. They're stuck in this third party, and they cannot let this thing go. And... I went through, you might have noticed, maybe you can't really tell, but I went through and I decluttered this entire area. I took a lot of stuff out and moved it because I'm going to be taking it to my office. And so this area has been decluttered. The, the um, vibe is, is a lot smoother, a lot calmer. It's way less chaotic. I'm taking a lot of things to my new office, and this area is going to be just for card reading. You know, I don't care how it looks, because you can't see anything but this table anyway, and I don't care what it looks like. As long as it works for me, that's what matters. If not for show. For show. <laughs> it's not for show. <laughs> oh, Spirit, you're funny. All right, let's Spirit, how can we get the overall energy for this particular situation? And let's not talk about that situation anymore, guys, if we can help it. Until this person is ready to move forward, can we just, like, put that situation on pause or on the back burner? Because everybody else is here to hear their, their situation. And until you make a decision, we can't really do anything for you. Now, maybe that's what this tower is about. I kind of feel like it might be, but I don't know. I don't know, okay? All right, Spirit, how do you want to start out? I think we're going to do something a little different. <clears throat> Let's get the overall energy. If we may, Spirit guys, angels, can you take over from here and help me with this? Can I get the overall energy, please, with this deck of cards? Okay, I'm being told to, that, yes, we can use those, but we need to start out with this white witch, like we do sometimes. White witch to row by Maha Daus. Ma, Maha Daus. I can't pronounce her name or his name. This deck is absolutely gorgeous. And the cards speak to me numerous ways because they're like ink blocks. Okay, Spirit, can I have the protagonist energy, please? The Hierophant in reverse. So there's some commitment that's not happening for the ending, but we'll have to clarify that. 
So maybe you have decided, can I have the antagonist? What's not working? That's not, that's what is working. What's not working? Whoa. That's too many cards, Spirit. Can you give me a good, those same cards? Can I please have one? Oh, lovers, the hermit. There's a lot that's not working, it looks like. What is working is you've ended something or you've made a decision to end something. Maybe. Spirit guides, angels, can you help me please? Okay, I'll take it. Temperance in reverse. Okay, why is everything coming out in reverse? Stop biting your fingernails. Something about, there's something about religion here. I see that. How can we unify these two? Maybe your religion wasn't working? All right, now, my deck is not in reverse here. Why is everything coming out in reverse? That's not a good sign. That was happening to me last night, too. Unifier, please, Holy Spirit. Spirit guides, can you be very specific with what's going on here? Take over this reading, please. Guide this reading. The chariot in reverse and the world in reverse. <sighs> Something's not moving. Somebody's anxious. Everybody's all up in their head. Birds are standing out to me here. There's a fish that looks distorted. What is that? What is that? Somebody might have bandages on their head. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. The Hierophant in reverse, Temperance in reverse, the Chariot in reverse, and the World in reverse. Somebody bites their fingernails. There's something going on with your left ear, your left eye. You might have a bad headache. You might be having chronic bad headaches. You need to get that looked at to make sure everything's okay. You should always see a doctor when you're not feeling well. Somebody's got a heavy, heavy load on their back. There's those twins again. Your eyes are illuminated. You might crochet. Feathers are standing out to me here. Somebody's bent over backwards here. The crescent moon speaks to you. You're holding this, but you're not really holding it. You're just balancing it on your back. And then the hermit is the only thing upright. The only thing upright is the hermit. <laughs> what in the world is going on here? Somebody's got a lot of anxiety. All right, let's just see what's going on. Spirit guides, can you clarify the Hierophant in reverse? What do you want to do? Tarot? Okay. They want to clarify it with the Tarot first, and then we'll get that deck next. Clarify the Hierophant in reverse, please, Spirit. Good, strong energy, spirit guides and angels. Can you give us clarification on the Hierophant in reverse, please? Why is the Hierophant showing up in reverse here? Can you clearly tell me what's going on? Speak to me very... Okay, thank you. There's the King of Wands that's in reverse. That's probably that Leo. I'm going to say it's probably that Leo. <laughs> here we go again with this situation. It could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but there's a man in your life, a male energy... That's not in the picture. Okay? Why is temperance here? There's the world. Mm. You're being patient about something. This is the world in reverse here. And this is the world up right here. Why is the Seven of Swords in reverse, though? The world card can be about travel. It can be about signing contracts. It can be about starting something new. But it's also about the closing out of a cycle. Maybe you're closing out a cycle with this King of Wands because you can't fight your feelings about something. 
Why are they, what's the seven of swords in reverse? Clarify that, please. Clarify the seven of swords in reverse. <clears throat> that was some puny energy to be clarifying a, a card that serious. Seven of swords is about betrayal, generally. Okay, so there was a man, a knight of cups, that was your everything at one time, but now you're moving away from him. And it's because he betrayed you and you want to end this betrayal. But there was somebody, this could be that Leo again. Yeah, it looks like you're moving away from this. Yes, you're moving away from this king of wands. Because they didn't move towards you, maybe. Yeah, they didn't move towards you. Converse tennis shoes. You might have been expecting some conversation with this person. A letter, a text, a message, or something. And they have not moved towards you, so you're moving away from that. Spirit, speak to me, please. Okay, we got a king of wands that is in reverse. And then we have, it looks like the closing out of a cycle because this person didn't move towards you. You were, you were expecting motion in this situation, but there was no motion. There was no conversation. So you're moving away from that. Clarify the chariot in reverse though, because that indicates not moving away. Can you clarify the chariot in reverse spirit? Gemini is here, Libra is here, Aquarius is here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's a strong air. There's air here and fire here and a little bit of water. Just a little bit. And then we have the end of something difficult. To clarify the chariot in reverse. Looks like somebody's just leaving. It's the end of something. What's the world card doing here in reverse spirit? There, there was a choice, or will be a choice. Probably it was a choice. What, what choice is this? Uh huh. Now they're speaking to me. There was a choice in love. You wanted a commitment that you were real, real passionate about, but it doesn't look like it's happened. It doesn't look like that you were chosen for some reason, and you're showing up as an empress. There's Aries again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's Ar this, whoever you are, you're living in your whole chart, and you're showing up as you being a combination of all the queens, okay? So you have your emotions in check, you have your money in check, you have good communication skills. Um, but what's missing in your life is love. The only thing missing in your life is love. And it looks like somebody didn't choose you. Probably this, this fire sign. What's going on with the hermit? <clears throat> Your heart's broken because you weren't chosen. So that's what's going on here. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. So, on the bottom of the deck, we have that what you don't see coming is eventually you're going to have the same thing. Because the only thing wrong with nine cups of nine cups is that it's not ten which would indicate to me that either the love is missing you have self-love though you have you love yourself and you appreciate yourself and you respect yourself enough not to take a half-assed love offer which is basically what this would have been a half-assed love offer because it's a page is a very small amount of love for an empress. Did you hear me? 
a page and a small amount of love for an empress. But either you've chosen to end this or you weren't chosen. And I don't know which that is. Only you know. Oh, what? Where did this come from? I don't even know how this freaking got here. I'm going to have to look back at the video. But this is the third party and it's in reverse. So Spirit wants us to know that this third party is coming to an end. This is the same freaking message that we've been getting forever, Spirit. I didn't want to do this today. I don't know what else to say about it. Let's see what comes out in this deck of cards here. And I've already shuffled. Spirit, what message do you have for us from Sacred Destiny Oracle? Denise Lynn. What message do you have for this person or for their person or for whoever might see this video? Because I'm tired of hearing this same message, and I know they are too. And I'm sorry, y'all. I don't control what comes out of these cards. I have stillness and solitude, which is exactly what we have over here for the hermit. Spirit saying, be still and know that I am God. Enjoy the solitude. And the quietness and the peacefulness. The stars are here. The stars are aligning. Sunsets might be very significant. Big pine trees. There's a swan here. Those two swans connected. There's purple here. There's green here. There's a rowboat here. Maybe you've been rowing instead of letting instead of being in a sailboat and letting spirit take you where spirit wants to take you the stars are aligning for something the full moon is important a full moon i don't know which one all right spirit what else do you want to say about this situation do you want to say anything else from this deck of cards solitude and stillness trust Oh, this is so perfect. Trust and illumination. The moon again. This looks like an eclipse, maybe. Palm trees. You might be planning a trip to somewhere tropical. Maybe you're going to go down to Florida. Maybe that's what this... Maybe you had a trip planned and it got put in delay because of COVID. Turquoise. Maybe you need to wear turquoise. But this is trust. You have to trust the process that you're in. Spirit's illuminating your mind. Spirit's going to show you in this stillness how to proceed forward with this situation. You might live somewhere where there's mountains or hills, but there's pine trees. You might live near the water where there's a marina. You can feel the peace. You feel that peace. And you have, you're going to be given courage to get through this situation. Whatever's coming, whatever storm might come, it's going to crash and those waves are going to break against the rocks and they are just going to feel like... Have you ever seen the ocean when the, uh, when the waves break on the shore and felt the power behind that? But at the same time, it was just such a beautiful scene that no matter how devastating those waves could feel, you could still feel the peace from such majestic beauty. That's what's going to happen in your life. All hell might break loose around you, but you're not going to feel it. You're going to be living above it. My arm is getting hot and heavy. I don't know what else to say. Anything else you want to say, Spirit? We're going to see what comes out of this deck, okay? Okay. Hold on, Spirit said. Hold on. We're going to clarify this message with another deck of cards. Alright, we're going to clarify the tarot with another tarot deck. Clarify this um, Hierophant in reverse spirit. 
there's that tower. Clarify the higher font in reverse and please be very specific. Speak to me clearly. Clarify this higher font. These cards are going nuts. Clarify the higher font in reverse, please, Spirit. Angels and Spirit guides, I need your help with this message. Alright, I have the Three of Pentacles and the High Priestess in reverse that fell on the floor. And then I have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody wants to talk to you, but they're not. Somebody is offering, somebody was supposed to offer you something small, but it doesn't look like they did. You might be a painter. Somebody, somebody, you have a friend that you're talking to about this. And they're trying to give you guidance on how to move forward. But you're not listening to them or your intuition. You're not listening to anybody. This is you not reaching out to somebody. Maybe you, maybe you or this person are not reaching out to one another. And there's, okay. Clarify temperance. Please, Spirit, can you clarify it? And don't give me this bullshit energy. Don't allow it to come through, please. Holy Spirit, take over. Thank you so very much. Control these cards. Clarify this temperance in reverse, Spirit. Why is, why is our self-control lacking here? Why don't we have any self-control? Clarify the same message, please, or whatever message you have for us about this person. Alright. There's the world again in reverse. Same message. Somebody this this has the sense of Somebody who was supposed to go somewhere and they didn't go and it broke their heart. Something that was supposed to go somewhere and it didn't happen and it broke your heart. You were there and you were ready and you were waiting and expecting and you may have even been told that this was going to happen. But this person turned their back on you instead. And it didn't happen and it broke your heart. Can you clarify this um, situation here with this small amount of love that this person wanted to give you? And they were either a player. They could have been a player instead of just really wanting. It looks like they wanted sex with you regardless. I got to clarify that message spirit. The one that they're in hermit mode about right now. Clarify. Ooh, hold the phone. Somebody's coming with a very important message for you that's going to make you happy as hell. Sunflowers, you're fixing to get a message that's going to change. Oh my God, everything is about to change. Everything. You're in hermit mode and don't expect it, but something's about to change. What's going to change, Spirit? <gasps> Holy cow! Oh, 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 oh. There was supposed to be... Hold, 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 hold on. Somebody's going to apologize to you. Or you're going to apologize to somebody. 
for fighting with you and making you feel sadness. Five of Cups again. What is this? There's that tower. There's the tower that didn't happen. All right, there was supposed to be a tower, but the tower did not happen. And because it didn't happen, there's an apology coming. This tower, there's a message here and I'm trying to pull it out. Give me a second. There is a commitment though. Somebody is planning a commitment. But there's a wheel that has to happen. This person has to realize first. They first have to realize how much they love you. Once they realize how much they love you, they're going to have a wheel and they're going to have a commitment. But right now they're going back and forth in their mind about how this should all play out. And they're looking at the past. They're looking at the past and focusing on all the things that have been lost instead of looking at the future. But once they see the future instead of the past, they're going to apologize to you and they're going to plan on making a commitment to you. And you're going to hear about this suddenly. You're going to get sudden news about this that's going to make you real freaking happy. Alright. Anything else you want to say? Anything else at all? It has to do with money. They feel like they need balance and money somehow. Somehow somebody's giving more than they take and vice versa. And that has to stop. That will eventually stop it looks like. But sometimes in life we just have to accept help. I was reading something um, the other day. <clears throat> And it was talking about how our stubbornness and our inability to accept help from other people is a trauma response because we've learned in life that we can't depend on other people. That when the going gets rough, the rough get going and they leave us all alone and it's hard to trust somebody especially when we're in certain situations where we have to trust that person for our very lives, for everything that we could ever have is in their hands. And we've had so many other people disappoint us and let us down that we have, we would rather do without than to trust again. But that's, you have to know that that's trauma. You're living out of your fear and your anxiety and you're not trusting. And that's where this other message is coming from, right here, about being still and being in solitude and that you're going to realize that you can trust. You're going to have a sudden realization that you can trust this, this person and that you can trust God. But right now, the reason why this whole relationship is struggling is because somebody is dependent on somebody else. That's why my back keeps itching. Because you don't like being in a situation where you have to depend on, especially if this is a man depending on a woman. Men don't do that. But sometimes in life we have no choice. That choice is taken away. Because God wants to teach us to trust again. And we can't live out of our trauma. We have to trust God, first of all. 
And if, and if you know that this person is a person of integrity, you, you can trust them. And what's the worst that can happen? The worst that can happen is that you won't get anything out of this relationship except another lesson. And that lesson being that you can't trust anybody. But this relationship you can trust is what I'm saying. And the fact that you're not trusting this person is breaking their heart. And the only thing that they are lacking in life, they have plenty of money. They don't need any money. They got that part. The only thing they're missing is love. And you could provide that. But that would, that would balance it out. Maybe you can't give money right now, but you can give love and support. Because this person has everything else. And it looks like you might have everything else but the money. So why are you fighting this? Stop fighting and be still. Alright. Now we can move on and get one of these. Just one, please, Spirit. Or whatever. Do whatever you want. Just do whatever you want. <laughs> Reiterate what's going on. Okay. I have be the hunter, not the hunted. So go after what you want in the world, not of the world. Inspiration and receiving. This person is very spiritual. And they have chosen you to be a part of their life. Or you have chosen them. But it looks like they've chosen you. This is what they want. But they're a very spiritual person. And they can, they're can they trustworthy because of their spirituality. And you inspire this person. Like you would not believe. This person loves you. And you just need to learn how to receive. You need to learn how to be still and allow somebody to take care of you for a minute. Because you're not used to that and it makes you uncomfortable. <clears throat> and then there's released allegiances on the bottom of the deck. So there might be some allegiance that you have in your life. It can be another person. It, whatever has you wrapped up and feeling like something stinging you and you know what that is that thing you're thinking about right now that's what that's the third party and you have to release that whatever it is or you have to be released from that it could be a place or a job third parties can be many things people places things you have to decide that okay all right, Spirit, can I get Heal Yourself for this reading, please? And I need some new cards because I'm starting to feel monotonous with these same cards over and over. But I hope somebody's getting something out of these messages. If not, I just need to stop doing it. And nobody is telling me. So I'm beginning to think that it's just pointless to keep doing them. <sighs> Anything you want to say, Spirit, to this person? For some reason, spirits want you to say, me to say home. Something about home. Maybe you need to call home, write home, message home, go home. Or maybe somebody, maybe this person feels like home. You might have blonde curly hair. Somebody's probably going to get a letter or a phone call, and this is going to make you very happy. You might have wallpaper peeling off the walls. It looks like you've been writing a letter. Patience showed up. Maybe you just need to be patient a little bit longer. Anything else, Spirit? There's that wild card. <laughs> be wild, be free, but keep oil in your lamp. Red again. 
red is showing up. Those gargoyles. You might work in a building or live in a building with some gargoyles. And then I have hole in your soul. And that's happened quite fre frequently with relationships like this. Pay attention to the signs. Oh my gosh! Again! I have both of them. Again. Be wild and be courageous. Just to have oil in your lamp. And watch out for that third party. <sighs> Red Japanese maples are important. Lanterns. And look. And there's that damn entrapment card again. Whatever has you entrapped. That third party that's got you entrapped. Spirit's going to take that wand from him and smack him upside the head with it so it'll let you go. Whether it's a person, place, thing, whatever. A job, a prison, an addiction, another person. Whatever it is, it's got to go. Okay. Angels, how do you have their back, our back, in this situation? Speak to me, please, angels. I thought we were going to get away from this, but apparently we're not. <laughs> I'm here for you, whatever you need. Okay, mercy. Whatever that might mean to you. Some, oh, this is the one where he's going to slap the guy upside the head if he don't get straight. <laughs> don't slap anybody upside the head. Maybe the angels need to slap you upside the head so you'll start allowing this person to help you and you'll help them in return. Because even if you don't have money, you can always give them love. Because that's the only thing they don't have. Fire. That passion that I always feel. Please, God, not today. Wisdom. Red and orange are standing out to me. I hope these bees quit stinging you. Anything else, Spirit? Spirit guys, can you please give us whatever we need from this angel card deck? Thank you so very much. Blessings. Be blessings to one another. Oh, those angels look like they're fighting. They are. <laughs> they might be fighting. He's fighting off that woman because she wants to give him a big kiss. And here again... Is Grace. <laughs> See him trying to give her a kiss and she's like, fuck you. <laughs> Seriously though, look at that face. He's like, do not even try to kiss me. <laughs> Purity. I'm sure this woman is pure. There's no doubt in my mind. Surrender. Surrender to this process. And once again, we have... Da, 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 partnership. <laughs> ah, anything else that you want to say? Thank you. I have resurrection, healing, and vision on the bottom of the deck. Okay. Now, I'm going to let you have one question unless spirit says otherwise what this how this works is i let you think of a question that you want to ask spirit and then i try to get you an answer out of this deck okay you got your question you ready all right angels and spirit guides can you give them the answer to their question please Thank you so much. I've got communicate clearly, abundance, compromise, which is exactly what we were talking about, and listen to your intuition. Sometimes we have to compromise. This person, the only thing they're missing is that tenth cup, which is love. Okay? They have everything else. And it looks like the, um, that. You just need some help financially. But you're too stubborn because you're you're reacting out of your trauma. 
Alright, one more time, Spirit said, one more time, for anybody's question that may not have been answered, Spirit wants to give you an answer. You got your question? Ta-da! The situation will improve. And on the bottom of the deck, it says, wait. Whatever that means. Okay. Thank you, please, Holy Spirit, for this reading. And I have an arrow that says love. Live, laugh, love. I have a butterfly. A music note. An anchor with the wheel of fortune. A seahorse. Seahorse is made for life, and it's about to pop out of my fingers. And then I have this Catholic thing with the Mother Mary and the Baby Jesus. Okay, take it from this other little spirit, please. I have that Kundalini Awakening trinket. That's what I call it, anyway. I have this family of family tree or tree of life, whatever you want to call it. I have that dragon that always reminds me of my sister. I have the world, and we saw that the world card was here. I have not one but two hands for use your intuition. That's the third time we've seen that come up in this reading. I have a feather. I have an arrow. Maybe you're a Sagittarius, or you have a Sagittarius placement. placement blah, blah, blah. And then I have a cactus that I cannot hold on to at all. A cactus. <laughs> yeah, a cactus. I hear you. <laughs> I got y'all saying it now. <laughs> all right, rocks. Come on, get me some rocks. I hear y'all. I have. y'all want to say before we say bye bye for some reason I'm hearing the name Jason Jason is not home whatever okay I love you I love you. I love you. What's on the bottom of this deck? The moon again. <laughs> We're right back around where we started. Okay. I love you. Bye-bye.